it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of Leonardo. And I'm talking about Leonardo Officina Italiana, which is located in Naples, Italy, and just so happens to be one of my most favorite pen brands around, especially in uh, the Italian pen brands. I, I like Leonardo a lot. I think there's a lot of character in their pens. I love the way they look. And I'm a huge fan of the way they perform as well. So I have a new Leonardo pen with me today. And it is a Pen Chalet exclusive. So huge thanks to Pen Chalet for sending this over to me to review. And I can't wait to show you this exclusive pen. There are only 250 pieces made. Yeah, it's pretty exclusive. This is the Memento Zero pen in the regular size, so it is not the Grande. This is regular, but man, I've already peeked at this pen and it sure does pack a punch. The pen comes in a box that looks like this, and on the back I love it because it says 100% Italian, because it is handmade in Italy. So let's take off this outer sleeve. And it has, it comes in a black box that has the Leonardo logo right here in the center. And once you open this and slide out, slide out this box. And it comes in a plain black box, but once you open it, there's your pen. Well, first there's the, the brochure that comes with the pen. So let's take a look at that first. So this is the brochure that comes with the pen. It is the Memento Zero collection. We have a card that says it is made in Italy. It certifies it. And going through this booklet, it's basically the collection of the Memento Zero and probably some of the details about it. But the Memento Zero, you know, it's like one of their first pens and it just, they've made it in so many beautiful materials. It's like countless. And I am just, you know, when I first saw them a few years back and I saw Leonardo, I was like, wow. So we've got a new Italian brand. It's beautiful. I mean, I love the red. Like I think the first Memento Zero I saw was the Hawaii resin. And it's this beautiful blue and tan, um, spaghetti resin. So it, I think it's just like, it's, it's just a striated resin material and it's just really gorgeous. So thirsty. Excuse me. It's good. So Pen Chalet seems to have a pretty decent relationship with Leonardo where on occasion they will ask Leonardo or they will um, commission Leonardo to make these special edition pens. So they're exclusive to Pen Chalet and you can't find them anywhere else. Okay, so let's look at the pen now. Comes in this plastic sleeve and it's kind of stuck in this little indention in the box. So that way it doesn't move around when it's in transport. And so let's take this plastic cellophane off. Ooh, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, if you like green, this is the pen for you. And this is something new that Leonardo has been doing. They're adding these little tags with their logo on it, the wings. And I think that's a really nice touch. It feels very exclusive. Here we go. This is called the Alga, which is translated to seaweed edition with black trim. So basically the resin is known as a spaghetti resin. And I believe that's because of the striated patterning of the resin. And what I like about this, so it's monochromatic with all kinds of different greens. You've got dark greens and light greens. And some of the greens are just, they're like really, really deep dark green. And then like right here, you have this light green that has kind of this pearlescent look about it. And it's just, I really love the mix of these greens. They look so nice together. And I'm also loving the black trim. It's kind of a gunmetal trim, but you know, it's black metallic 
And you have that classic Leonardo clip on here with the, the roll right here to help slide into your case or into your pocket real easy. And it is nice and springy. Probably wasn't very nice to do that. <laughs> but what's typical of, you know, the Leonardo's, they usually have these three bands on the cap, which I like the color. I, I feel like it, it kind of melts into the design of the pen, like into that green. And it just really makes it look so attractive. Yeah. And also on either on the finial and this end cap right here, which it looks like a piston knob, but it's not. But I'll get to that in a second. I love the conical shape at either end. I think it's really nice. And if you look at the finial, you can kind of see uh, it's kind of like a grid that indicates where all the, you know, spaghetti resin stuff comes from. So it's kind of cool. Let's look at that nib. So let me take the cap off. I love that the nib matches the trim and I love that the section also matches the rest of the pen, the barrel and everything. So you've got that spaghetti resin here at the section and let's see, I've got the, I've got a medium nib. So it has a medium steel nib on this pen. And the nib has the Leonardo logo etched into the center of the nib. And let's see, what's great about Leonardo pens is they come with a converter. And I love that, you know, every detail is accounted for, even the cartridge converter matches the trim of the pen. So I just, you know, those details are awesome. Even this part right here matches. It's just awesome. And another great thing about the cartridge or the converter that goes into the Leonardo pen is that it screws in to the section. So that way you don't have any horrible accidents where the converter is just gonna like pop out all of a sudden and then like you notice once you have to take the pen apart for some reason, it just has ink everywhere. And it's just an awful mess, it's disgusting. And I mean, it's not disgusting. I don't mind getting ink on myself. I, I do it sometimes. In fact, it was a, ch a task to keep my hands clean <laughs> for this video, uh, but I'll probably get them pretty dirty during the inking portion of this video. But it is, you know, anyway, if I'm gonna get ink on my fingers, it's not gonna be from the ink leaking into the barrel, okay? That, that's what the whole point of that statement is. All right, let me put this back on. Another cool thing about Leonardo pens and the Memento Zero design is that, I'm gonna put the, let me put the cap back on. I don't wanna have accidentally drop this and the nib gets all messed up. That would just, it wouldn't only hurt the pen, but it would hurt me. It would hurt me real bad. Yeah. Okay. What's cool about right here, this is actually a blind cap. So if you don't feel like, if you're not in the mood to take the barrel off the pen and you wanna put some ink in here, all you've gotta do is take this blind cap off and you have access to the converter. And so you can basically just fill it with ink or take the ink out. I mean, it's actually really cool. I like having that option. I think it's really nice. And another thing I love is that the trim underneath the blind cap matches the converter and matches the trim on the rest of the pen. So nothing is mismatched. Everything is completely color coordinated, which is a huge plus for me. And it looks so nice with this beautiful green resin, just absolutely beautiful. Another thing I'd like to point out, I did mention that there are 250 pieces of this pen. They are also numbered. So this pen is, I've got the number, wow, number six out of 250. And I don't know if you can see it on the barrel, but it is etched in. And it's etched in in a way where it doesn't take away from the look of this pen. The last thing that a pen really needs are big letters on it 
or you know just keep it subtle and focus on the design of the pen and that's what this pen does i mean i'm not putting down those pens that have like um you know if they have like a a nice metal ring around the bottom of the cap and they put some stuff there i think that's fine you know i'm just talking about just making it out of control ridiculously like big giant letters that, that's all i'm talking about no big one does it post well let's see i'm sure it does the pen does post and it's a nice light pen it's not heavy it's a very comfortable writing experience. I mean, that's from my past experiences with the Leonardo Memento Zero pens. But even when it is posted, it's so nice and comfortable. And I don't feel like it's heavy on any part. It's actually very well balanced. I mean, just beautiful. Well, I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink up this gorgeous pen with some Leonardo Green. That's a nice match. Let's keep with that whole seaweed, algae, ocean sort of deal going on, okay? Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Pen Chalet exclusive Leonardo Memento Zero in al algae or alga seaweed green color. Beautiful spaghetti resin, beautiful trim, beautiful writing experience. I, I mean, it's, it's a great pen. And I have to warn you, the last I checked on Pen Chalet's website, it's low inventory. These are selling pretty well. There are also some other Pen Chalet exclusives on uh, the under the Leonardo category. So you might wanna check that out too. If green's not your color, I believe they do have other Memento Zeros that are exclusive to Pen Chalet to choose from. And yeah, I, I highly, highly recommend this pen. It is definitely, it's, it's chic. 
It's beautiful. It's like a polished emerald made out of resin. But I do like it. Beautiful. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. And that's how the ink flows.